Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Rome in the modded Tall Mod, Pokeyl's Tall Mod game. And uh, we're also, I guess I could maybe rename this to the Nuclear Insanity game, because we have gone a little bit ham. We've gone a little bit ham with the nuclear missiles, and so on and so forth. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and queue up in here. Repair the outer defenses, and then... Uh, just do me commercial hub investments. Now, I could probably do some repairs and stuff like that. For example, the Ferris wheel. Like, sure, let's get that repaired. Over here in Ulan Batar, uh, I'm just going to tell you to... Well, there's not really much I can do in here, so I'll just tell you to do an encampment training. And that should keep you busy up until pretty much the end of the game. I'll pop you up onto the coastline, I believe. Wait a minute, I thought I had three... Uh, I thought I had three uh, missile dudes. Oh, there's one over here taking some damage. Why don't you pop over there and take a promotion to heal up. Go pillage that. And pillage that guy. Do some damage to his cities. Try to burn them to the ground. Okay. Bring our aircraft carriers in. I want to keep them relatively at a safe distance. We'll go to the next turn. I got my giant death robot rolling in too that we'll be able to do some damage to Mongolia with. I, I never thought that I would have so much fun just straight up murdering the AI with nuclear missiles. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm thinking of maybe my next series will be revisiting the, uh, revisiting the Gandhi nuclear challenge where we basically were not allowed to go on an offensive war until we have nukes and then we have to conquer the world. I think that might be a fun idea. I'd like to know what you guys think about that. But I'm hoping to finish this series, this episode. Uh, I think it's been going on for quite a while. We just launched the Exoplanet Expedition. So we'll go ahead and keep that city. It flipped independent to me. And we will just queue up a whole bunch of stuff to keep this city busy and uh, not having to be clicked on by me. Over here in the capital, we are going to grab ourselves another neighborhood because the needs of the bureaucracy is ever expanding and it must expand to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy. So let's go ahead and queue up a little bit of stuff in here just to keep the city busy until the end of the game. Why don't you go ahead and build me some thermo, build me some nuclear devices. I don't, I think thermo nuclear devices are a little bit overkill unless cities are placed really close together. And then they kind of make sense. Uh, let's go ahead and pop you over here. And then take the Echelon promotion. promotion. And we'll go ahead and bomb this tank army. To take it out. Excellent. Uh, my spy has leveled up. Go ahead and take the cat burglar. I, the promotion doesn't really matter. I'm just picking whatever is the first thing that like appears. And you are going to continue to trade. Jet bomber. Go ahead and start hitting that encampment. And we'll just kind of bomb the encampment. Not really for any particular goal, but just kind of for the memes. So let's step forward here. And you have a promotion ready to go hit that city. I will, of course, promote you up to a better unit. And you'll come over here and take up Rumpke. We've got quite a few nukes that we want to drop on this guy. Well, man, nuking someone into the Stone Age is a uh, pretty powerful way to uh, prevent them from having any impact on the game. Because I'm pretty sure Mongolia Science has now tanked down to 67 per turn. And I think they were doing pretty well for a while, scientifically. But now they just may as well not exist. So let's go ahead and take Kobdo. You will get hurt by the fallout, but we have plans and backups for that. Let's keep that city. Choose our production over here. We've got a couple of turns. Let's go ahead and build a thermo nuke because I think we could drop a thermo nuke. Well, no, you know what? Yeah, we'll just drop a thermo nuke. Why not? It sounds like fun to me. Uh, we'll queue up an encampment training in here. I won't bother with that. We'll go ahead and take this city as well. Bring you into range to take that out next turn. We'll keep these cities as much as we can. Uh, I guess I could appoint Amani 
and stick her in these new cities with uh, Victor as well going down to uh, Ulan Batar to secure the loyalty. I was just doing combat trainings, just keeping these cities busy while we take out the uh, this sort of stuff. Shoot this just to get experience. Bada -bum, bada -bum, bada -bum. Blew up that encampment, awesome. And let's go ahead and keep getting production in the capital. I'm going to assign you as a counter spy on the spaceport and we'll go to the next turn. Yes, I will accept your gift. I never realized how easy it was um, to conquer the AI in the late game with thermo nukes, with nukes and um, <laughs> bombers and all that sort of stuff. I think I have a newfound appreciation for bombers. In fact, a fun game might be to rush out aircraft. Problem is, it's kind of dependent on the strategic resource you get, so it's kind of hard to go straight for a rush. Go ahead and buy more traders in the capital. And I'll buy a builder in prepara preparation for finishing the space thingy. So I could do that. Go ahead and take Orumki. And we'll appoint Moksha and stick him in Orumki. Can you go grab Aksu for me? We have a nuclear bomb. Choir shall be bombed. Pop you over here to heal up. Here it goes. There's something immensely satisfying about just nuking down your opponent. It just makes life so easy. Drop some nukes on a fool. Uh, we will keep these cities. And of course, we shall queue up a commercial hub project to keep that city busy. And similarly, we'll do encampment projects right here. I'm going to pop you out of this city to right there to heal up. Go ahead and I think it's safe now to move these guys a little bit closer. And we can use these bombers. Uh, plus two range. Start blowing up some of this stuff. Pillaging the hell out of it. Like bom like bombers, I, I can imagine them. in multiplayer, bombers would be crazy. But once we've killed Mongolia, I think we're going to go ahead and... Um, I think we're going to go ahead and go into peace. And see if we can't finish out this game by launching Lagrange lasers and terrestrial stations and stuff like that. Over himself. Okay, so there is corporate libertarianism. We will be taking corporate libertarianism because it gives us... Uh, wait. This is the wrong one. Did I select the wrong one? I think I did. Whoops. Uh, I had meant to go for um, <laughs> uh, optimization imperative because this is the science-y one. It gives you all production towards city projects and plus three power in all cities. That was a little bit of a whoopsie on my part. We got another thermonuclear device. Let's go ahead and just quickly do a uh, convert to nuclear power. I think at this point, it's a reasonable thing to do. Get me all those things, even though I have them all. You create that right there. And I'm going to pop you back here to heal up. Builder heading over there for next turn. Shizuoka. Trade with Baghdad. Just going for the top production and food and all that sort of stuff. Take a turn to heal. I've got my GDR. I'm going to head up to Karakorum. Take that city on. There we go. We've got a thermonuclear device. I think we shall use it. Little guy right there. Right there. The thermonuclear device has a way bigger blast radius, which makes it way, way, way cooler to use. I love also one thing I love is that seaside resorts aren't affected by thermonuclear devices at all. Holy crap. The detail that went into making the nuclear graphics is awesome. 
But as you can see, Seaside Resorts, literally impervious to, uh, <laughs> to um, literally impervious to nuclear bombs. You heard it here first, first folks. When nuclear war breaks out, go to the closest, um, go to the closest Seaside res uh, or Ski Resort and you will be totally safe. This information may or may not be true. I cannot <laughs> verify the veracity of it. <laughs> uh, don't take advice from YouTube videos, guys. And that's what comes from me, because you can always trust Potato. Never trust Potato. <laughs> I just nuked my way across the world, and you're going to trust me? No, you friends. idiots. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get on finishing the game. We will go ahead and start doing some of these Lagrange lasers. I'll do one of those. I'll insert a builder in. In fact, probably inserting a builder is probably not even necessary because we can complete it in a single turn. How much production are these? There's 600 and we make nearly 400 production per turn in my capital and that's only accelerating more and more. Uh, let's teleport you down here. Maybe we can put some great works over there. Let's get you in range of Caracto. I think these guys are immune to nuclear damage. So I don't think we need to worry about them standing in fallout. I think it's only like squishy, soft bodied biologicals that uh, get damaged by that. And the final nuke of the game. Although we might just nuke France a bunch just for the fun. Here it is. We get nice and zoomed in so we can really see it. Beautiful. We've got the nice mushroom cloud popping off here as well. Not quite as impressive as the thermonuclear bomb, but still quite impressive. We will keep that city. And uh, you'll just go ahead and do that to keep yourself busy. Uh, all right, there we go. I'll accept your gift. I will accept your gift. We are making a thousand science per turn. Very nice. I'd also like to start giving maybe some one city challenges a go. I feel like that could be fun. Lagrange laser station. We will start doing terrestrial laser stations. We are burning um, uranium for power, but we're generating a lot more uranium per turn now. Let's go ahead and finish that city off. I'm going to pop you out here to heal. That's nice and safe. We'll keep that city. And yeah, just yeah, build a missile cruiser. Why not? Let's go ahead and put you guys to sleep. We no longer need you. Uh, and you may as well create some great works. Why not? For the extra score, go ahead and do that. And we'll go to the next turn. We are now officially on the ticking timer for winning the game. We go into the science victory. We have traveled five out of the 50 light years. And that will only speed up as we do more and more of those projects to launch faster uh, or launch lasers to boost our thing. But I will, I would like to finish off Mongolia. I think that is a commendable goal. They attacked me. And so any aggression is 100% justified. Don't look at my nuclear weapons uh, stockpile, please. I have done nothing wrong. My people are only defending themselves through the use of nuclear weapons. <laughs> uh, let's have a look here. Uh, oh, yes. Plus one amenity and reach three tiles further. Go ahead and create that. And you're going to come down here and finish off Vancouver. And there it is. We're now down to the very last city. Which I think we will peace out Mongolia. Wait, one second uh, before we peace them out. <laughs> oh yes, I would like to have peace, Mongolia. Ah, <laughs> uh, peace. All right, Mongolia is finished, and so now let's finish the game. Now, he still has a city. I, I, yes, I agree. He still has a city. He's technically not dead, but it's better to let his city bleed out and go independent and join my empire. I love how they want to join the people who just nuked them. Um, I think that's quite humorous. Uh, I'm just going to vote this down as much as possible. And hope that it does not pass, because I don't want to get an emergency against me, because it's going to make my life complicated. 
terrestrial laser station has been launched and it failed because I voted it down. Excellent. There's future tech. We will go ahead and get advanced AI because this will improve my giant death robot. We're also going to head up here and build yet another terrestrial laser station. And then here we're going to go ahead and put you to sleep. And we're hopefully going to build up a little bit of a nuclear stockpile so that at the end of the game, we can drop a bunch of nukes on people uh, just as a goodbye. <laughs> uh I genuinely have not had this much fun playing Civ in a very long time. Like, just, just dropping nukes on people. I really enjoyed this tall mod uh, Let's Play. I, I, I think um, the only mod I would maybe consider taking out is actually the one that I suggested and uh, was made as a result of me suggesting it. And that would be the Production from Population mod. That would actually be the only one I would get rid of. Otherwise, I, I think I'm very happy with all of the mods here. We build another terrestrial laser station. We're up to 14 light years over here. Let's go ahead and keep trading. Uh, let's get these guys in position to drop what hopefully will amount to be a lot of nukes on France when the time comes. I think we've chosen France as our target just for the memes because they're really, really close. And we can hit, uh, well, we, I guess we could pretty much bomb all of these cities. I have so much uranium, I don't even know what to do with it. I could make, I could literally make like another five... Uh, giant death robots and still have, you know, a reasonable amount of uranium. Okay, there is the new government. We are going to plug in synthetic technocracy. Not really going to change our government much. Uh, I kind of forgot what cards I have plugged in, but I definitely want rationalism. I definitely want to maybe sports media and that would be okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and take commercial hub and this and perhaps we could also take uh, colonial taxes because we own a couple of cities on a different continent. Maybe that's less useful. Uh, perhaps we could plug in the... Uh, let's see. Five percent science per city state I'm suzerain of. Five percent culture per city state I'm suzerain of. And then I suppose we could plug in just for fun. We'll plug in the free market. Make it 1300 science. Let's see if we can grab a couple of Sue's Ranities here. We did a little bit of liberating, but we have no uh, envoys here. Let's go ahead and choose tech. Future tech is the only thing we can pick. Over here, we've got a lot of choices. Let's go ahead and get near future governance. We'll choose our production in the capital. We'll get ourselves another terrestrial laser station. We're burning up a lot of this stuff. Uh, food market. Let's go ahead and queue up some thermonuclear devices. So that we can drop them on France when the time comes. We've got a couple of nukes. Probably not enough, really. Put that in there. Maybe get a little bit of power from you. Uh, let's go ahead and queue up. Not that these matter or impact the game at all. But, you know, a little bit of repair work. It goes a long way. As our last hurrah, we shall nuke our close friends of France. Although, I kind of, maybe I could go nuke Sweden. That would be fun. <laughs> Uh, yes, let's stand united as friends. Definitely. I'm going to avoid making friends with France so I can drop nukes on her. We must be close to winning. We're at 25 light years and we are traveling... Seven light years per turn. So we're only a few turns away from winning. And we've got three nukes in the bank. I hope I can get up to five nukes in the bank before the game ends. That would be pretty nice. Terrestrial laser station. Go ahead and build some more nuclear devices. I've basically turned my entire nation into a nuclear weapons program. <laughs> I mean, what else are you going to do with your nation, right? What? Try to improve the lives of the people who live in my country? Nerds. I want to nuke a bitch. All right, let's keep going here. I'd like more great people that were nuke related. Man, it feels like there's so much potential in the actual military warfare section of the game. Um, I'd love, I'd love a a version of Civ that was 100% built around warfare, where everyone progressed through the tech tree at the same rate, and like, um. So, like, you would, uh, it, it was just a war game, like, condense it down, say, 15 turns per era, 
and it was just a pure war game. That would be really, really fun. Uh, so let's do the Lagrange laser station. We've got to be close to winning. You're only a couple of turns away. We've got three nukes in the bank. More to come, hopefully. Let's keep moving over here. Very, very close to winning. We shall soon have it. I am willing to create the great work of riding. Go ahead and steal the money. We'll go to the next turn. You should flip independent this turn. Excellent. And hopefully join my empire. Oh, it might be next turn. Is the Lagrange laser station? There is nothing like a dream. Future tech, renew your mission. Grab future tech, choose production. Another terrestrial laser station. The city is using up a lot of power. However, um, uranium is really power efficient. Go ahead and do that. Just do that. I want to keep you busy. And I think this is the turn that we win the game. I just want to double check that. No, just about. It's next turn we win the game. And just to say goodbye to the planet that we live on, we will be dropping the base right on France's head. Sadly, I only have four uh, nukes. But, in theory, if we, like, position a nuke correctly here, we can hit two cities with one, hit two cities with one here. All right, so we have exactly five nukes. We're literally about to win. So let's drop the thermonuclear device. Oh, we need to be a little bit closer. Move forward at all. We'll drop a thermonuclear device right here. This will hit Ambois and Leon. Here. There we go, boys. This is our last hurrah. This is how we say goodbye to planet Earth as we go out to the exoplanet. <laughs> yes. Aircraft, wake up. Jet bombers? <laughs> oh, look at them go. This is the sort of stuff I would... You know what, Matt? Doing this really makes me want to play multiplayer. I like Not like a competitive multiplayer, but like a chill multiplayer where we're just screwing around. That, I really... What I need to do is I need to try and like gather up a bunch of people who maybe once a week we play like a multiplayer game on a live stream and we just try to have a good time screwing around online speed not trying to like win 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 but you know just have on a good time i feel like i feel like civ is less fun when you're actually trying to win in a multiplayer game and it's more fun when you're just kind of trying to screw around and then the interactions between players are more interesting because it gives you i feel like when you're trying to only win it leaves no room for you to screw around and have a good time and if you're screwing around and another player is trying to win well then you're just going to piss that other player off and you're going to be pissed off because he's pissed off at you I don't know, but there it is. We have won the game. We successfully nuked probably somewhere in the region of like a quarter to a third of the world, uh, the world cities. Uh, probably, probably closer to a quarter. We did a lot of nuking, and that was a tremendous amount of fun. I had an absolutely wonderful time this game. Huge thanks to Pokio for making those uh, mods that we played with this round. Uh, apparently, there was uh, a unit still alive over there. <laughs> He's like, everyone is desperate. Like, please be, please be my friend. <laughs> Don't nuke me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had an absolutely wonderful time playing with these mods. I, I really, there is links to the mods in the description of the video. Go ahead and check them out. I really, really recommend them. Wait, did we not win? Is my, where's my win screen? Hello? We won just as we got the information error. Not a very, very fast Much win. As our ancestors did ages ago. We thrust forward into the unknown. The first pioneers set forth on an uneasy course. And yet once again did our people thrive. Now, under your leadership, we plot a new course. And make another world our own.
Alrighty, so we won the game. I had a lot of fun. We didn't quite get top score, but let's go ahead and check out some of the graphs. Now, the most important graph is uh, this one right here. Uh, Total religions found it amazing. Look how useful this information is. Looks like there was a lot of religions found in this game. Now, nobody managed to found two religions this game, which is quite a rare occurrence. This is definitely the most useful graph in the game. <laughs> There we go, the buildings constructed tab over here. We, uh, we, you know, fairly typical DD game. We start out majorly behind, and then over time, as we manage our empire more efficiently than the AI, we kind of overtake them. Uh, we basically did almost, well, I mean, we did like a little bit of war early game, and then it was just kind of like, it's go time, baby. Conquer the world. And then uh, cities lost. Similarly, I didn't, actually, I don't think I lost any cities this game, but apparently they lost negative one city. Ooh. Oh, because I gave them a city. <laughs> That's so good. I didn't know that graph could go negative. That's amazing. Districts constructed. This is sort of a similar thing. I start off really, really behind. Here's me down at the bottom. And then I make my way up to the top. Player culture. Uh, sort of a, another similar story, although less so when I'm going for a science game. I typically don't become the top science. That was uh, Suleiman. No, no, no. It was Pericles in this instance. But I did do quite well in terms of culture. I was top two, which is pretty damn good. Now, science, on the other hand, we definitely took over. And typically, in my opinion, the moment that you are generating the most science in a game, that game is won from the perspective of a DD game. It's very, very hard for an AI to beat you once you have the most science in the game. And I don't think I've ever lost a game where I was generating the most science and going for a scientific victory. Uh, and player score over here. There we go. Lots of player scores generated by me. Total governors, not so useful. Some of these graphs are less useful. We can see the units killed graph. Was a lot of warfare going on early game for me, then a little bit, and then another little bit, and then towards the end, there wasn't a whole lot of units left. But, you know, war declarations received. I wonder how many wars I declared personally. Actually, not that many. I did build a wonder this game. I don't even remember which wonder I built, but I know that I built one. I think it was the Ruhr Valley, actually, and I had a lot of fun getting that. Great people earned very very cool let's go ahead and take a little peek at our map there is nothing like a people without and oh my god you know what we've got another thermonuclear bomb france i do apologize but i mean you are france like i mean it's not my fault you're so nukeable well cancel that do my airplanes have better range let's have a look Ah, uh, just barely out of range for the nuker, nuking. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can drop a nuke right there. The last hurrah. Wait, did that not work? Excuse me. I would like to drop a nuke. Right there. And this shall be how we sign off. We shall follow this beautiful airplane as the landscape is coated in radiation and kaboom i'm not sure how this airplane escapes from the um, thermonuclear bomb but look at that isn't civilization a fun game guys now i have to say like our empire is quite impressive if you take a moment to look at it considering we were confined to a relatively small and low quality section of the world i want to say like a third to a half of my empire is like pretty low quality land in the form of desert and yet we still managed to eke out what i would say is a very effective victory condition and we also managed to pull off a very exciting and very fun late game war against arabia i gotta say i had a ton of fun playing this game again thank you so much to pokio for making those mods thank you all so much for following me and subscribing and uh, i think in the future what i'm gonna do is maybe a few episodes before the end of a series i might put up like a community post for you guys to give suggestions on what you want to see on the next series and then kind of like go through those things uh, at the start of the uh, start of a new series and kind of, you know, give a bit, a bit more community interaction. That's one way I think I could improve my channel. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on how my channel could be improved. What do you think? What would you like to see me doing in the future in terms of uh, Let's Plays and all that sort of stuff? I do read all, of, by the way, I, I, I read all of the comments on all of my videos. I don't respond to all of them because that's a lot of time. I used to respond to all of them, um, but I just get a lot more comments now. So it's kind of hard and some of them are like, some of you guys leave really dumb comments let's be real <laughs> okay and they don't warrant a response i think someone was telling me that uh i was bad at the game because i i played on a difficulty setting or something listen i don't even know anyway look i love you all very very much and i'll see you next time
Bye-bye.